Imagine Earth with an even 50-50 split between continents and oceans. Our planet covered half by land and half by water. If you wanted to balance the planet's land to water ratio, you'd see the sea levels absolutely plummet. And not just a few meters, but around three kilometers. Earth would look very different. The regions around both the North and South Poles would be completely dried out, and every continent on the planet would expand. And not just a little, either. All this newly emerged territory around the world would be roughly equal to the current surface areas of Asia, Europe, Africa, and North America combined. That would be an enormous amount of unused space. Everything extending off the old coasts would be relatively flat, but some of the areas that used to be deep ocean would reveal vast corridors and steep crevasses. As you explored this new land, you'd discover that the one global ocean would be no more. All of the oceans would be separated from each other, and all of the continents would be one connected landmass. And this would be good news for evolution. Early humans didn't have any ships or planes. We spread across the globe simply by walking. Venturing away from Africa some 70,000 to 100,000 years ago, we found our way to Europe and Asia. Eventually, we were able to cross a land bridge connecting Asia to the Americas possibly as far back as 20,000 years ago. But this shifting balance of water and land wouldn't be all fun and games. With so much less water covering the surface, our ocean currents would be disrupted, and this would seriously destabilize the climate. Currents distribute the heat that's absorbed by the oceans around the globe. Disrupting them would mean even colder temperatures around the North and South Poles, while the already hot equatorial regions would get even hotter. Climate change would speed up too, all because oceans wouldn't be able to absorb so much carbon dioxide from the air. That excess carbon dioxide would blanket the planet and raise temperatures. Rain levels would also drop off, and this would create dangerous droughts, as well as new deserts in many inland areas. 